Howdy folks, Feedy here, back with the next episode of Civ 6, Rise of the Maori. We are currently still at war with Genghis Khan, trying to knock him out of the game. New decision. Need these guys to just kind of stay out of the way for a minute. Eh, we lost the. Crossbowman. Another civilization has requested a special session of the World Congress to address an emergency. We have an emergency of our own discussed. Shall we add it to the agenda? In a single special session, multiple emergencies may be discussed at once. Once a special session has ended, another cannot be called until a certain number of turns have elapsed. If you want to propose a discussion, now is the time to do it. religious emergency okay we're just gonna keep trying Bring these guys back a little closer. This guy needs to fortify until healed. I think I have another crossbowman that I sent back. To protect. I don't think I have a heresy yet, so just gonna have that unit sleep. They're going after my crossbowman, which I guess I can't blame them. Keeping religious units in the target city territory. If the members complete the objectives before time runs out, each member gains a relic. Members get 100 diplomatic favor. Members with no score receive no rewards. If time runs out before the members complete their objectives, I don't want to use a lot of my diplomatic point or favors, so. Uh, failed. Pedro carried that vote himself. This is probably going to kill my knight. Which it did. That's okay, my crossbowman should be able to do some damage. Uh, now that we're gonna have him go right 
into the city and go on to alert. You have hobbled the Mongolian clans. My respect for you nearly matches the loathing. Goodbye. Mongolia will not stand the test of time. You've taken control of a civilization's last remaining city. Nice. Yes, found a city. We'll be fine, say the citizens. All mountain smoke a little, right? The city is placed within two tiles of a volcano that could be erupt. Oh, we're gonna keep the city. I mean, why not? There's already a holy site, so I'm gonna go ahead and build a temple. Going to build a monument. I'm gonna bring my apostle this way first. I'm going to check the world rankings. We denounce everything you stand for. Persia seeks only to distance itself from you and your ways. Science victory. We are currently fourth. Cultural victory. We are leading. It is our fervent desire to tell you just how awful we find you. And we wish your reign to be brief. She denounces me. Domination victory. Religious victory converted ten cities. And diplomatic victory we are leading. And they are Protestant Fort Zealandia. Interesting. We're going to take that crossbowman and send him over to the capital. Yes, I know. I need amenities in my cities. Better build some walls. Any unit that's not fully healed, we're going to fortify until they are healed. Or we're just going to have them go on to alert. Rebellion in three turns. So... We are going to take one of our governors and we are going to reassign her to Batavia. Rebellion in seven turns and it'll take five turns for her to become settled, I do believe. Yeah, five turns. I extend my heartiest congratulations on the productivity of your people.
I know I have cities that need housing. Not much I can do. Poor Leventa. We should just attack them. <coughs> The world needs to be aware of your transgressions, denounces me. Renaissance era ends in nine turns. In, I can establish a new trade route. Can I purchase a trader? I can. Rebellion in 13 turns, but she will be assigned in 3 turns, so I'm not too worried about it. The table, er, they need production. I'm gonna build an aqueduct there. We will get a new trader going from here. We will see who we can trade with. Spread religion. Boom. Just like that. The new city is of our religion. Welcome to the World Congress. World religion, select an outcome for this resolution. Plus 10 strength combat and religious for all units of this religion. All players may condemn units of the chosen religion in doing so grants 25 diplomatic favor. I'm gonna try to increase the power of my religion. Border Control Treaty. New districts built by this player act as culture bounds. This player's borders will not grow via culture. Again, we're going to try to get the vote in our order or in our favor. Pass Protestantism and pass new district built by this player act as a culture bombs. So everybody voted yes. Judaism, Zora, Zoroastrianism, Judaism, Judaism, Hinduism, Catholicism. And chose target negative Teddy Roosevelt, Coupe Dido, Cyrus Roosevelt, Wilhelmina, Pedro. You go ahead and fortify there. We need to get this religion out of here hmm I'm gonna trade with Lisbon to get that plus nine gold diplomatic victory points so that puts us even farther in the lead we have five of twenty points needed Ooh, she created an apostle. Our people take pride in the mirror, which reflects our values and priorities. New opinions are always suspected, and usually opposed, without any other reason but because they are not already common. 
change policies. Free market extra gold from buildings in commercial hubs plus 50% if city population is 10 or higher. Or liberalism plus one amenity to all cities with at least two specialty districts. I think we're going to go with that. Maybe that'll help our issues. The dawning of an age of enlightenment in our realm has sparked a serious discourse on our scientific methods. Your knowledge of scientific theory has advanced considerably. Choose production. Religious tourism. Campus research. Holy site prayer, theater. An ink nighter. Gonna declare war in Persia. Afan harad nesh no deste. Ayad gari sipahi amavandi man. Ro odven. Have you not heard the tales, the storied might of my army? See for yourself. Okay. Whatever, dude. I'm not too worried about your army. Hmm. I'm gonna go with a catapult this time around. Ooh, we have a builder. Can do some fishing. Why is the production so slow in this city? I don't know how my religion is falling out as the predominant religion. Hinduism is putting some pressure on converts in 148 terms because we're putting some pressure on you didn't need orders we'll have one of the warrior monks stay up there and you can go on alert We're just going to keep trying to pressure with our religion. Your treasury is filling up quite nicely. It's always nice to have such strong income, isn't it? Yeah, but you don't like me, so it doesn't really matter. Claim a great person. Great admiral. Sure, why not? Civilization's attention to the naval arm of our military has given rise to a great admiral in our ranks. When deployed wisely among our ships, we are sure to have a distinct advantage in battle. Perfect. How 
Well, uh, I don't think we can get close enough. That's his capital. Okay. We'll see if we can get close enough. I don't think we can, though. So we'll bring our admiral up there, too. We've got a crossbowman down here. Ooh, they have musket men. Nice. Great person recruited. City losing loyalty. Not sure. Governor established. I don't know why they would be losing loyalty. Hmm. I don't understand. Oh well. Rebellion in 28 terms. Pressure from nearby citizens. Governor in place. Other effects here. Happiness level. Hmm. So they are not happy. Fishing, might as well go build an iron mine. I want this. Fort Zealandia was once the cradle of Hinduism, but now the faithful flock to the temples of Protestantism. Alright folks, we're going to wrap this one up here now that we've converted Fort Zealandia. We're going to wrap it up here and continue our war with Persia next time. So as always, if you enjoyed the content... Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and we will catch you in the next one.